Hey guys, hey beautiful love bugs, welcome back honeys, I'm divinely destined by the way, welcome back to another video collective, if you are new here, my goodness, please take a minute, like the video, share the video, uh, yeah, leave me some comments in the comment section, hey, don't be afraid to speak up, speak out, hey, that's what God calls us here to do, collective, okay, don't be afraid. Even if you are afraid, just take your stance. Okay, God has got you. Period. I don't know what's going to come out here. Okay, we're going to find out together. Please understand that these are general messages that may not even resonate for you. Okay, it may not even resonate for you. Take what you need from the message and leave the rest. Happy New Year. Great tidings to you and your families, man. Collective, y'all better be asking God to put that blood on your doorposts to protect you and your families from famines and disasters and plagues. Don't be afraid to ask God to protect you and your family with the blood of Jesus Christ, because that's the only thing that's saving us, period. We're not perfect. God know that. We're not ever going to be. He knows that <laughs> since the beginning of time, man has proven that. Okay. <laughs> Nonetheless, ask God to protect you and your families this year, this year, baby, every day, every day, period. So let's just go ahead and dive into this energy. I see the Ace of Wands. That's very powerful masculine energy, period. The Nine of Swords, God sees the everyday worries and stresses of every, of every human being, every life force. He sees it all. God sees it all here, period. There's a very powerful woman here that's in in her power, okay, she's in her powerful masculine energy today, but she's been stressed out here, I see fear, anxiety here, okay, perhaps she's stepping into her power, that's what the chariot is saying, it's time to step into your power, people have been trying to suppress you, so you wouldn't, you've had little, you have people that literally have been doing things to you, Possibly unbeknownst to you, okay, to keep you suppressed. But nonetheless, she's stepping into her power. You're being called to, male or female, okay? It's just time to step up. We need more leaders that are not going to be afraid. But even if they are afraid, they're still going to take their stance, okay? God is protecting us. God is calling uh, leaders to stand up today, okay? Take your position, period. You know, think about like think about guys that are in the, in the army. They take their positions here. Period. We are in Capricorn season. Yes. So we, we have to tap into that darker aspect of ourself or we should not be so terrified of getting into that. Okay. I have to do what I have to do to protect my family because these people are coming at me like a dark horse. I heard a reader speak about that yesterday. She said we should not be afraid to get into our shadow energy, our darker energies. So many of us are taught all about love and lights. Okay. We don't want to rock the boats. This why this could be one reason why we have been targeted. Okay, Susan White is in the energies. I believe she's serving a life sentence here. Okay, see, you got to be able to stand up to these type of individuals. Not saying, well, she was proven guilty, so yeah, it's a known fact. Okay, but yeah, the re the terror reader was basically saying, hey, don't be afraid to step into your powerful, don't fuck with me energy, because these people are coming at you like a dark horse. Okay, you got to be the one to be able to protect your family. Okay, you got to you got to let people know that you're not going to be messed with. I feel like God has been preparing you to step into your power, your darker energies, or don't be afraid to utilize it. Don't be afraid to pull the trigger if you have to protect your family. Don't be afraid to, um, hey, do what you got to do. Be a soldier. I'm, I'm talking to soldiers today. Okay, okay. Yeah, this soldier energy right here. Don't be afraid. You have to. You've been taught, like, love and light, love and light. You never got into your darker energies. Okay, but it's time. Not saying to get in your darker energies, but don't be afraid to use those darker aspects when you need to to protect yourself. And I don't think it's darker. It's just more bolder. Let's just say that. Okay? I don't know the technical term for it, okay? <laughs> but get into that energy, okay? Okay, bold. And, you know, we are in the year number eight. That bold, fierce energy. Think about the male lion in the year 2024. He's bold. He's fearless. Get into that energy. You have to. You can't always be like the little cub, okay? Yep, I see the queen of swords, and I see the queen of cups. 
Mm. Your mother may have been very dominant and aggressive and you may not be. You didn't want to be like that or your characteristics are not like that. Okay. But you should think about her. Okay. She's fierce. She's bold. She knows how to defend herself and her family. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes. Yeah. I see the lovers being here. The temperance card being here and the six of cups. Wow. You may have a, you may have a story about an ex not letting go of you. Or making your life difficult since a breakup or a separation. You got a story or two about an ex here. Period. Mm. I see a divine masculine. I see a divine masculine that's an earth angel here. He's in his lighter energy. Okay, he's in that lighter energy here. Okay, that's what I see here. It could be it could be uh, that light energy he utilizes to express gentleness towards mankind here. But I see with the five of swords, uh, yeah, he can, he can, he can, he can get dark, okay. Or he should be aware that uh, he shouldn't be afraid of it, okay. Is you, you don't, I don't, I hate to say darker energies, but let's just say fiercer energies, okay. He's not afraid to get into his fierce energy, okay. He's the male lion here, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know how to protect, and I, I really don't want to have to get into to that to that other side of me. But if I have to, just understand that I will, okay. So divine masculine is bold here, okay. He's, he's like a gentle giant here, period. I see this energy here. Yep. The emperor next to the temperance is a gentle giant. That's an earth angel, okay? That's that's a, that's a divine masculine working out of his lighter energies here. Okay? I see him being a kind, a kind, compassionate man here. But he knows how to stand his ground, essentially. Okay? That's what the message is saying here. Or he may, he may need to become more assertive, okay? He may need to become more assertive. This could be a divine feminine uh, that may need to become more assertive, assertive and or not be afraid to become uh, aggressive when she needs to. Okay. Essentially, you're not to be tamed here. You can't be. Don't 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 be don't don't allow nobody to try to tame you. Essentially, okay. This seems to be a difficult message, but nonetheless, I'm gonna persevere here. I see the Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. God God got His people here in the year 2024. Yeah. It's like it's time to rise up here. It's like God is calling the army, his army of angels, angels and light workers, divine beings to stand up this it's time for you to stand up this year. Okay? Stand up. He's he's calling God is calling his earth angels, his light workers, his divine beings into a position of full authority and power. And God is saying, "Do not be unapologetic. Don't be unapologetic about it." You know, think about in the Bible, okay, collective you know, if, you know, back in those days, God, God will call a whole army to go destroy a city. And God says, take everything. Don't leave nothing. That's the type of energy. God is saying, hey, I need my light workers to stand up. Period. Let's stand up. God is calling his light workers into full authoritative power. And um, that's what it is here. You're being called to stand up and, and, and rise in your power here. You're rising in power here. He's calling the light workers to rise up in power this year. And he's fully supporting them. It's kind of like training. Okay. God is like training. Like God says, you already got the training. It's just time for you to utilize it. Don't be afraid to step into your bold energy, assertive energy, and pr protect and uh, provide and, you know, defend. Period. So these are people that. Uh, these light workers are the people that God is calling today to rise up here. I see the three of wands. God is saying, I'm waiting for someone to try you because I'm going to knock their ass out with the ten of swords. There's God. Excuse the explicit language with the six of pentacles. Our heavenly father loves his people. God loves the world. This God's world. He created it. He loves his world. Period. I see the page of wands. He's not going to leave you nor forsake you. You see the justice energy that backs me. God is not going to leave you. God backs us. Okay. He loves us. I see the justice next to the, okay. I'm hearing the empress. You could be a divine feminine here. Ah, wow. The justice next to the, yeah, there's a divine feminine here. The high priestess, divine feminine here. She's mysterious. It's like, okay. Okay. I don't know which, I don't know which Bible verse it is, but you know, Sometimes, sometimes we don't know what to say. God will speak for us. He will, he will speak through us. That's the energy that the high priestess, that's the energy that the high priestess and justice 
divine empress energy is giving me i'll speak for you i'll tell you what to say you're going to know what to say when it's time to say the right thing or what god or what god wants you to say at the right time okay he's calling his people to rise up in power here this year there's more okay he needs to, it's, it's it's something think about the male lion okay just keep thinking about him all 2024 because that's what we're representing he's representing us this year collective be bold be be courageous and be fierce don't be afraid they may have more than you, okay? They may have more numbers than you. They may seem more mightier than you. You got God, baby. You got the king of the world <laughs> defending you, okay? Period. God is preparing you here. You may be a politician. You may speak out on Congress. It seems to be something big here that uh, this could just be general. This could, this could just be overall for all the collective, okay? Whatever you do, be bold, Okay, be prepared to be able to defend yourself and know that if you're afraid, God is with you. He's going to show you what to do. He's going to defend you. God about it. God a body snatch us. The Holy Spirit body snatches us. Okay, the Holy Spirit resides in us. And if you don't believe me, you 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 may have never experienced God taking over your body like your body literally puffs out. Okay, the Holy Spirit fills you, baby. You're going to know what to do here. Nobody's it's, it's kind of like that's that's like an armor. Okay. It's something big here. I'm channeling big energy today with the will of fortune. The energies don't lie. Yeah, you may be asked to speak on a large scale. You may be a speaker on a grand scale here. Yes. Congress. I'm picking up politics here. Congress, the legislation, the political arena. This could be you being a powerful force for your community. Okay. You may be the voice in Walmart. Okay. Someone may come in Walmart. You know, showing out and everybody's terrified. You may be the one that is called to rise up, offer a kind word, okay, or something like that to cool the situation off. Don't be afraid to get in those type of energies to protect humanity. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is saying. You see the hair front? That's our Heavenly Father. Do you see the sun card? That's our Heavenly Father. Do you see the Six of Swords? That's our Heavenly Father. He's been working with the collective. We're just over here worried about our everyday human existence. And God has been cultivating his collective the whole time. He's been cultivating you. You've been tearing yourself apart. People have been tearing you apart. People have been attempting to tear you apart. And the whole time God has been cultivating you. You may be 41 years old. You may have been born in December. You may have been born in July. You may have been born in February. September is here. And also August. Yeah, the whole time God has been cultivating you very, very discreetly. Yeah. What doesn't kill you truly makes you stronger. It really is true. Period. It's like God is giving you supernatural, the supernatural ability to recover and heal. No man can do that. Only God can. Very discreetly. You may be getting your energy back here too. You may have had a lot of your energy stolen over the last few days, few years, few weeks, few months. Little by little, it looks like it's coming back in here, okay? I see that very, very discreetly here. Yes, I see the Four of Swords being here, especially while you're resting here. It's something about your cerebral, something about the brain here, okay? Yes, very intelligent individual here. Yes, God is keeping an eye on you. Period. You have angels that, hey, they just pass by your house. You're sleeping. You're in your house sleeping. Okay. You're you don't even know this is happening here. Okay. But God knows because God knows our enemies are out there as well. With the Knight of Wands being here, and the Seven of Swords. That's deception from at least one person here. Okay. God is aware of all of our enemies. God is aware of all of our enemies. Yes, I see a very successful, independent individual. That's a boss, male and female. Okay, take this message how it resonates. I see masculine and feminine, divine masculine and divine divine feminine energy here. Very successful. It's a competitor here. You have a competitor. I spoke about this earlier. All readers have been speaking about this man here, this low vibrational man that has been targeting you. Okay, or at some point he was known to have picked you as a target. Okay, God knows about him. God knows about anybody that's targeted you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So there's a low vibrational man here or a woman or just different individuals that are peasants here, okay? <laughs> that have decided to make you an op, okay? Not they not no one ever said that they were smart, okay? <laughs> yeah. Somebody tried to take you out. I'm thinking about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, I've been channeling him over the last three days. There's the number three. Three to four days here. You know, he was assassinated. Okay, that type of energy. Someone may have tried to assassinate you with the death energy being here. Yeah, it's like a strong target that someone put on your back. I feel like it's a man here that did this. This could be an ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-love interest. This could be an ex-wife as well. Could be a fem female. Okay. Masculine female energy here. Uh-huh. They tried to get you caught up in a situation in which you was not going to be able. The intentions was for you not to be able to escape it or, you know, survive it. Yeah. This is premeditated crime. This was a premeditated crime. Or different crew. These, these, <laughs> These have been different premeditated acts committed upon God's green earth by some very malicious, evil people that um, are foolish. Yeah, that's what the moon energy. I don't know what these people did. I don't know what the enemies of the collective did on that last full moon. What did they do? I don't know, but it was bad, baby. It had to be bad because the energy is so powerful. I see the King of Wands here. What's going on with him? Yeah, this could be a divine masculine that has been uh, under heavy scrutiny for a while here as well. Yeah, a lot of magic possibly done on him. Or a lot of manipulative things done to him in the background by people that did not want to see him make it either. The collective is being called to rise to power here. You're already in power. It's time for you to understand your powerful step into that authority and understand that at a moment's notice, you got to be able to get bold. Don't be afraid. God is going to assist you. He will use your body and take over you to make sure that you get through any situation safely. Okay, don't underestimate the power of our Heavenly Father or our angels. Don't do it. Your guardian angels, okay? <laughs> yes, the archangels as well. Yes, I see the Ten of Pentacles. I see a, I see a huge house. I see a, I see a political woman here. A celebrity woman here. You see this Ten of Pentacles next to the Four of Wands? This is a huge house <laughs> that this woman, this Divine Feminine has. She's supposed to have, she will have at some point. And somebody's heartbroken that they can't live in this big house with her. They tried to destroy you, okay? They tried to destroy her so she wouldn't be able to get in that big house. Wow. This could be... <laughs> This looks like um, armed security guards at her property or, you know, a security personnel detail at her property. These could be archangels with the musician being here, guardian angels that are watching her property here. You're meant to have a big ass house here. You may be meant to be a politician, a celebrity or entertainer or influencer or a major figure here in the world. Your calling is huge. Somebody knew this. This person tried to destroy you before you found this out. Or before you could fulfill your prophecy. You have a prophecy here. This person tried to get you um, in a situation in which you would not be able to recover. This was an ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-love interest. This was someone you had an interest in. Possible. Wow. I see the sun card. Our Heavenly Father once again is here. The Hierophant. He's exposing secret societies in the year 2024. Let's just talk about it. Groups, organizations. It's, t it's about time for these uh, dark witches and warlocks or whatever they're called. Okay, at least these damn dark dark occultists. It's just, been, it's just time for these people to be called out. They've been hiding in these crevices and these caves for far too long. How many people are deceased today because of these spiritual assassins here? I've been channeling Marvin Gaye all year. I mean, we only got two days in here, but, you know, Marvin Gaye, Dr. Martin Luther King energy is powerful. Okay, don't punish the collective with brutality. Don't punish us with brutality. Don't go behind the scenes to try to murder us. Talk to me so we can see what's going on. What's going on? 
Okay, what's going on? God is calling these type of organizations and people out for what they do. This person is so jealous of you. Or these people have been so freaking jealous of you. It's really, really, really utterly despicable at the lengths that they have went to to try to, to destroy you. You have a huge calling. Oh my goodness, you may not even know this. The mothers are in the energies today. The grandmothers are in the energies today. Political figures are in the energies. The male lion is lion is prevalent. He's representing us in the year 2024. The Lord of Karma, Saturn is in the energy. Saturn will sit you down. The Lord of Karma will sit you the fuck down. Get out of her way. Get out of his way. Period. You may end up marrying a powerful individual or you may be the powerful individual that your husband or your wife marries. They may be very, very supportive and super protective over you. I see the justice energy being here with the high priestess. You never saw this. You didn't go into your acoustic records to notice or you didn't even care. You wasn't thinking about it. You just living your life. God was cultivating you the whole time. It looks like you have an enemy that knew something about you here. Wow. A whole group may have been studying you. What kind of energy is this? I see the Ace of Cups next to the Six of Pentacles. That's God's energy. That's his divine energy he gives to his light workers. Somebody was trying to steal this and utilize it for themselves. Essentially stealing your blessings. Stealing your blessings, baby. That's the biggest coward in the world. Okay. That is the biggest coward in the world. That's the biggest snake, okay? That's a snake. That is a snake that needs to be called out here. God is, oh my God, I can't even get the words out. That is the biggest damn snake I have ever seen right here. Or, you know, it's just, I've ever seen or heard of, okay? It's, it's a pretty big snake here. You know, a few nights ago, a few weeks ago, collective, I seen two huge ass snakes in my dream. There were, it was like, uh, I don't know, uh, a python. I don't understand. The snake had every opportunity to come out of the room and get me, but he never got out of the damn room to get me. It was like one of those big old python snakes, like the black and brown color, and then it was a big ass like a Vermes python. He was white. I don't know, but they were huge as fuck. Excuse the language. I also saw a, a tree being cut down last year in my dream. It was the biggest tree I have ever seen in my life. And I saw the man. I saw the man, guys. He was, like, cutting it down. I was like, wow. I was looking out my window in the dream like, they're cutting this huge-ass tree down here. <laughs> I know, understand these dreams I be having collective, but I was kind of worried for his safety up there because that was a because that was a huge tree here. Okay, pay attention to your dreams as well. So Divine Feminine, you got copycats that want to be you. You got ex-lovers that have been trying to destroy you because they can't be with you. Okay, Divine Masculine, they're trying to take him down or take him out so he can't rise into his power as well. Period. There's some scary stuff right here. It's scary. I mean, to have to read this type of energy, it's, it's pretty heavy energy here. My light is going out here. It's getting a little dark. Okay, I've got to go ahead and close it out. Yes, they never saw your power here. They only see you as the loving queen of cups. It was meant to happen like that. God showed this person, this ex of yours. God showed him your heart. Okay, that's why he tossed you away. That's why he chose someone over you. That's why he ghosted you. He didn't see anything important about you. It was, a me it was meant to happen like that. It was meant to happen like that. I'm hearing it was a man. It was a man that tried to take your life. Or he tried to steal your destiny here. It's a man. This is the biggest coward I have ever seen or even heard of as a tarot reader. I mean, I, I've never seen such cowardice behavior here. You don't want this man on your team. You don't want him in your army. This is the man that's going to come into Walmart and you're going to have to stand up and defend the whole store from these type of snakes. This is a huge snake right here. You know, men, you know, you teach your boys, okay? You teach your sons, protect women, okay? Don't hurt women, okay? Don't hurt women. But here you go. There's a whole man over here trying to take the life of a woman because of her great calling in life.
Yeah. Imagine he has daughters too. Can you imagine? Ruthless. Or she could be a woman here that has tried to take the life of a divine masculine as well. She has sons. Okay. Yeah, somebody was trying to hold on to your energy. You see how tight this person has? I also heard a tarot reader say that last year. Like she said, some of these men or these women that steal the divine beings energy, they keep the energies in envelopes or necklaces. I don't know how they keep the energy, how they hold on to the energy. They come in uh, at the beginning of the year. They steal enough energy to last them for a year. That type of energy. They literally steal your destiny. It's something here that he steals holding. He still he steals. I see the FBI. Yeah. This could be well known. This person could be on the FBI watch list. Or before they leave this earth, they could be. This whole group. Whoever's whoever tried to um assassinate you or to destiny swap with you or you know hurt you. They are being watched by the FBI. The likelihood is very real. Very real here. It's very obvious, too, that this person is still holding on to something, something related to you, or that's what they want to do. They could still be refusing to let you go. It's something they want. They want to live in a big mansion with you. Okay, this person, God showed this person your heart before he ever revealed anything about your worth or your, you know, when I say your worth, I mean, like, your money. Okay, God didn't show this person. God did not show this person your pocket. He showed this person your heart. That's why you is the queen of cups. That's why you are the queen of cups. God showed you. God showed this person love. This this person may re, ooh he may regret this for the rest of his life. Ooh he in trouble. I see the King of Cups here in the tower. His emotions got him messed up. He's angry. This King of Cups is pissed. You see the tower. He wasn't able to destroy you. This is the big, he is the biggest snake I have ever read, bro. It's scary. And I'm guaranteeing you, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm guaranteeing you, this person is over 36 years old here. They may have 12 kids. They messed, they messed their life up, okay? They missed their calling. They, they want your calling, it's kind of like this person is saying, it's like laughing, at, it's like slap, it's like laughing God in the face or trying, you know, some, it's like a mockery to the kingdom of God here. Okay. You messed your life up or you screw opportunities up for yourself here. And you know, these people don't want to just accept that they messed up and deal with whatever fate that they have left to pay off of what they've done. They just go in the spirit and say, Hey, I'll just take her contract. You know, I'll just take his contract. I'll just take his life away. That's a coward, bro. This is a huge snake. Huge snake. He's getting exposed. She's getting exposed. This, these secret societies are getting exposed for this behavior here. This is piss poor behavior. Um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is coming through strong. It's something political about this. Okay, this could be a politician that did this to you. Or this could be a society. This person could be a part of some sort of political society. Okay, higher ups. You know how that go. Higher, higher up type of energy here. It seems to be pretty political here. Because I'm picking up on uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. here. It's something like that. Perhaps they had a promising political career. Perhaps. Perhaps they had a promising career as an attorney. Some, But... but but for some reason, they won't acknowledge the fact that they screwed up their life. You screwed up your life. You don't just get to just get a do-over. I'm not saying like, you know, we can't get a do-over and God doesn't give us second chances. But we don't get to go in the spirit and take someone else's life or their destiny because we screwed up ours. Okay. Yes. The biggest thing I see here is this person. The thought of you marrying someone is terrifying for them. That's the biggest thing I see here. Yep, they're a full-fledged narcissist. You marrying someone else and giving and 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 uh I think that would totally wipe whatever spell out or, you know, it's something about the energy here. They may have even went in they may have even went in the spirit and tried to marry you in the spirit. Yeah, there's Archangel Gabe. Archangel Gabe called judgment on his ass or her ass. I see the five of cups. They're they're the biggest uh the biggest thing that they're going to have to live with is the regret. 
It's the regret that's going to eat this person alive for the rest of their life. I don't give a damn what they look like. This person is hurting. <coughs> Just imagine you go on to be this world famous actress or actor or attorney, celebrity. You tell the whole world this story, okay? This person's whole family could get ex go into exile. It can really affect this person in the worst type of way here. Yep. <laughs> you could get one attorney to uh you know sue the hell out of his ass and permanently put him in, in, in the streets forever too. Okay? Yeah, this is a lawsuit here. And <laughs> you could actually sue these people here. This is a real lawsuit here. <clears throat> I see the Knight of Swords. Why do you want to rush in so fast to like in you? I've never seen nothing like this. I'm gonna go ahead and close this reading out. Yep, the Divine Feminine was targeted here. There's Archangel Michael here. It, it feels like our Heavenly Father wants you to know that, you know, he's sorry for what hurt you went through. <coughs> Excuse me. God doesn't want us to hurt. You're going to be huge here. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to be huge. This person knew that. Mm, God bless you.